right, let's set up your sing thing. So power goes in the bottom here. You've got your mic input. So what you do is you get your beautiful MP75 that came in the box, clip it in. You get your XLR cable and uh, that goes in there. I like to do a little bit of a wrap and that goes into the mic. And then there's a slot there for guitar, which we have here. And you'll notice there's another input for switch and that's referencing either our switch three or our switch six. These are great. They basically, you can assign any of the effects from the sing thing uh, to correspond with any of these switches. So if you're playing guitar while you're singing but you want to trigger some harmonies or some delay, you can program that to one of these switches and do it with your feet instead of your hands. Just make sure that you are using a TRS cable which comes with them in the box. Uh, TRS is tip, ring, sleeve. You'll notice there's two bands across uh, the the input jack there. So that's TRS as opposed to TS, which is a standard guitar cable. So next, we've got an aux input. So that's this cable. If you were to uh, hook up a phone uh, or anything, you, you would do that there. And then you have your output. So the output is going to be going to your uh, mixer or if you have uh, an interface for your computer, you want to do some recording, you use that XLR out. Uh, there's also a MIDI uh, input if you have a, a MIDI controller or anything that you want to be sending MIDI signals a keyboard uh, that goes there and then we've got our USB input here uh, for doing those firmware updates or getting some more presets for your sing thing. So that's all I need. Um, I'll actually probably plug in our switches here as well. So I think I'm going to use probably just the switch three today this little guy. There we go. All set up.